Okay, the last lecture for chapter four, it's gonna be about calculating the atomic mass. Now you have to remember, the atomic mass is the average of all masses of that atom in existence. Do not confuse the atomic mass with the atomic number. Now remember, the atomic number is the number of protons. Also, do not confuse the atomic mass with the mass number. The mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. The atomic mass is the average of all isotopes for that element. Isotopes of all elements are found in constant ratios, which are known as fractional abundance. So you can find the fractional abundance of certain isotopes. Um, sometimes it's written as a fraction, but most of the time it's actually written as a percent. These next two problems may actually make more sense after you practice some on your own and after we do the lab on Thursday. Okay, calculating the atomic mass. Um, you will always be given a certain number of atoms of an element. So here I said 100 atoms of hafnium. What is its atomic mass? That U is what's known as the atomic mass unit, and it was supposed to be a small U, but it capitalized itself. Um, so the atomic mass unit, and if you have one atomic mass unit, it's actually equal to one gram. Okay, so we have five hafniums that have a mass of 176. We have 19 hafniums that have a mass of 177. We have 27 hafniums that have a mass of 178. We had 14 hafniums that have a mass of 179, and there's 35 hafniums that have a mass of 180. So there are five isotopes of hafnium out there, each with their own mass because they have different number of neutrons. So if you need to find the atomic mass or the average of all of these, you can see that you would take the number of the atoms that you have, multiply it by its mass, then add all of those together, and you want to divide by your total, which is 100 here. So you, you know, put that into your calculator, do your math, and with significant digits, it'd be 178.6 atomic mass units. So if you're given the total number of atoms of a certain element, this is how you would work the problem. And you're just finding the average. You're averaging all of these individual isotopes. Another way a problem could look is like this, is you're given the percent of each of the masses. So what is the atomic mass of silic silicone if 92.21% of its atoms have a mass of 27.977? 4.7% have a mass of 28.96976 atomic mass units and 3.09% have a mass of 29.974 atomic mass units. Now if you add all those percents up, it is 100. So this is how you would do this problem. Instead of writing the percent, you write it as the decimal. So 0.9221 times 27.977. And then you add it to the next percent plus times its mass and then you add that to the next percent times its mass and we get 28.086 atomic mass units. So that is the atomic mass for silicone and it's the average of all those isotopes. In the lab that we're going to do, we will do a problem that looks like this and we will do a problem that looks like the one on the last page. And I also have some practice problems for you in class to work.